So, the great hot dog debate has rolled over from 2017 to 2018. Thanks for visiting the channel. This is Midnight Range TM. And whether you believe me or not, I believe a hot dog is a sandwich. So, what are we going to do tonight? We're going to make one. We're going to do a grilled all beef hot dog, potato roll, and we're going to do some homemade fries too. So, stick around and uh, I hope you like what you see. Thanks. So here we go. All right. First thing we're going to do is we're going to make dog sauce. Um, basically, I just take all my favorite toppings, almost all my favorite toppings, and I put them together in one sauce. Uh, it's good on hot dogs. It's great on burgers. Um, uh, it uh, actually turns out a little bit like a Russian dressing or something like that, uh, but it's super, super easy. So I'm going to take a bowl. I'm going to take about uh, three tablespoons of mayo, about a tablespoon of ketchup, straight off the vine, about a little bit of Dijon mustard. Say it's about a half a tablespoon of red onions, diced really fine, about a tablespoon of uh, relish. I like the sweet stuff. I'd say this is probably a teaspoon of sriracha. Gives it a nice little spice. Okay. And mix that all up. Well, like I said, it kind of turns out looking a little bit like a Russian dressing or a Thousand Island. And that's what we're going to use on top of our dogs, along with some kraut, because I love sauerkraut. So, we're going to do a, uh, uh, some uh, homemade uh, fries here tonight, too. Okay, just a plain old russet potato. Nothing fancy. No big deal. Okay, we're going to cut it into some strips. Okay. And then cut it lengthwise. Now, one thing that's nice about a potato um, like this is you want to russets work best because they get a little dry, they get nice and crispity crunchity, okay, and uh, they just work great. You can use Yukons, you can use Red Bliss, they just don't turn out quite as good because they have a lot of moisture and they're not quite as starchy. Um, and what we're going to do with these bad boys is fry them. We're going to fry them in a little canola oil. We're going to fry them until they're firm and cooked through, but without any color. And then we're going to drain them let them dry off, let them cool off to room temperature, and then we're gonna fry them a second time. And what that's gonna do is get them super, super crunchy, crispity, and they're gonna continue to stay crisp, um, you know, after a couple of minutes while you're, uh, while, you're, uh, while you're eating. That way they don't get soggy on them. Okay, so we're gonna move over to the stove here. I got a little fryer set up, and uh, we'll get that done. All right, so we're over here at the stove. Got a nice stainless steel pot nice heavy bottom that helps and um, I've just got canola oil inside um, if you have a little fryer at home that works awesome too but we're just gonna use this so what I like to do to test the temperature is just use one of the fries yeah that looks good yeah I'll throw them all in there And this is why you really only want to fill it up about a third of the way when you do these. You gotta give room for the oil to expand. There's an awful lot of moisture, an awful lot of uh, uh, you know, an awful lot of moisture that's going to be coming off of those, and it's going to give uh, make one a bubble. Okay, so what we're going to do? We're going to give these a couple of minutes. They will have a little bit of color on them when they're done, but they won't be golden brown yet. And uh, then we're going to let them cool down to room temperature. 
All right, so we got the fries back in the fryer. They were cooked through, lightly golden brown, but still still tender in the middle. Throw them back in the oil, and in the meantime, we took our dog off the grill. And Jelzma, you were right about uh, about something. You want you put dog, uh, cheese on your dog, which is awesome. I got my secret weapon here. Smoked Gouda with bacon. Cannot beat this stuff. I'm telling you what, it is an amazing, amazing thing of uh, genius. Um, we're going to use this on our dog. So, what we're going to do, we're going to take our bun, nice potato roll, grilled dog goes in the bun, look at that. I'm going to put some of our smoked gouda on there, and we're going to throw this sucker in the oven. I'm going to melt this cheese, toast the bun all at the same time. We're going to pull our fries out and season them. Be right back. All right, fries are done. Look at that. Nice and golden brown. Here we go. We're going to let them drip for a second. Throw them right in the bowl. Okay. And we're going to pimp these up a little bit, okay? We're going to go a little bit of Montreal seasoning. A little bit of grated Parmesan cheese. Give this a little toss, and that's gonna go on a plate with a dog. All right, here we go. It's the moment of truth. Got our dog out of the oven. It's toasted. The cheese is melted. It's looking awesome. We got our steak fries or our <coughs> homemade fries with our Parmesan and Montreal. So we're gonna take our cheesy dog, bacon smoked gouda, looking awesome. Gonna hit it with some of the dog sauce. Okay. A little bit of sauerkraut. Look at that. Isn't that killer? That's killer food right there. And go on our plate. Finish it off with our fries. sriracha ketchup that we use um, and it's a cup of ketchup a tablespoon of sriracha a little bit of dog sauce for dipping your fries in and if you really want to impress the ladies boop a little bit of green stuff if you don't have any parsley just go cut your grass get some grass no one nobody will know the difference and that is my killer dog all beef grilled hot dog, dog sauce, a little bit of that sauerkraut, toasted potato roll, and homemade fries. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you try it. Please leave some comments, questions. Um, if you need anything, let me know. I'm here to serve. Um, please like, subscribe, and share. And uh, come and check me out on uh, Sunday nights, um, 10 Eastern, for, uh, for my live chats. All right. Thanks very much, guys. Have a great night.